morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Rudy. Today, we are here to talk about staying in the lane, in your own lane in real estate. We have seen an uptick in realtors providing advice to clients that they as realtors are not qualified to provide. Listen, we understand that your goal is to get to the closing table. While getting there, you may be getting bombarded with many, multiple questions and the intersecting scenarios we've all seen are endless. But do not provide an off the cuff answer. You cannot give an answer that your clients want to hear or an answer based on what you wish the situation was. As questions or concerns arise, slow down and take a breath. Think about whatever this lies within your scope of real estate knowledge. If it is not, you have an ethical and legal duty to refrain from giving the advice. Do not take it upon yourself to be the inspector. Do not take it upon yourself to be the electrician and don't ever take it upon yourself to give a legal opinion. Make sure you're not injecting yourself into a realm that you're not trained to handle. There are sections of the code of ethics that speak to this. Article two says you have no duty to discover defects in the property. So if you are asked about a potential defect, you are covered if you say you'll need to see, ask someone trained in that area. I'm not ethically able to provide advice on that. Article 11 says specifically says that realtors shall not undertake to provide specialized professional services that is outside their field of competence. And finally, the unauthorized practice of law is prohibited by Article 13. And I should note, there is also the law under both RELRA and Title 49 of the PA Code, so keep yourself out of both ethical and legal trouble and call in the experts. Great addition, Rudy. And if you need additional resources regarding professional standards or the Code of Ethics, visit the Professional Standards section of the Association's member portal. Thank you, Howard. Thank you.